Russian invasion of Ukraine made many people, like me for example, think that there was going to be a real cyber war behind it because of the, you know, the education systems, the technical capabilities of the protagonists. But that hasn't really materialised and in some ways it's very surprising because the, you know, the security of the supply chains, the industrial control systems, that sort of thing, is, 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 is pretty poor. So instead we, we kind of set up a fintech front line you know, so for the you know the average person in Moscow, the the you know the, the 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 world's unhappiness was manifest to them when they went to get on the subway and their iPhones don't work anymore. You know? It's the payment systems and Swift and so on which have you know, formed that front line. So I mean, maybe maybe we'll get a cyber war in the future, but yeah, we didn't get a cyber war. We got a sort of fintech war. I think that's quite interesting.